What's up guys, it's Roman here from Ironbox Official, and here we're talking about the Nexus 6, so let's get into it. So if you guys have probably heard, there's been a ton of leaks and rumors about the upcoming Nexus uh, phone, so in this case the Nexus 6, or whatever they decide to call it, just the next generation of the Nexus. And let's go and take a look at everything you should expect about this uh, upcoming Nexus 6. Uh, so first off, the release date is most likely going to be in October of this year. Uh, that's when usually Nexus phones are announced and released by Google. Um, so definitely expect it to be released by October of 2014. Price wise, you should expect it to stay roughly around the same area as the Nexus 5 was. As you guys know, the selling point for um, the Nexus device is around 350. So um, that's what everyone buys is because it's very cheap. You just go out there. That's why they're so like the phone is attractive itself because it's super cheap. So you should definitely. Uh, expect it to stay around $350, $400 for the 16 gigabyte model. But since the specs are going to be such so high end, um, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually went up to $450 for the 16 gigabyte model. And this is all unlocked, by the way, on two year terms, like $99. There's also been uh, rumors of instead of it always being internal memory, they might actually be micro SD expansion, so that's also pretty cool. Uh, moving on spec wise, it's rumored to have a 5.5 inch curved LCD display. Um, they've been working, they they released, you know, you see those TVs, they're like kind of curved, it's, I think my Samsung, they just released one a couple weeks ago, it looks pretty cool, but, you know, and the display is going to be also a 2K resolution display, which is a very, very high uh, res display, it's higher than 1080p, so it's one of the better displays out there right now, like, completely no pixelation, it looks like it's so bright and vivid, like you're just looking into something, like, natural, which is nice. And the screen is going to be, and the screen and the phone size is going to be similar to the LG G3 uh, handset. And this display is going to be uh, around 534 pixels per inch, which is very, very high. The iPhone's around 300, so 500 will be twice as good. If moving on, you should expect to have a 64-bit Snapdragon 800 series CPU, uh, possibly the 805 by Snapdragon, uh, which is the newest version of the CPU processor by them. And it's very, very, like very fast no lag, whatever, when the phone's running. I believe the Snapdragon 800 is powering the Nexus 5 right now, so, and it's already blazing fast, so the 805 should be much better. And it should be clocked near 3 gigahertz, which is pretty impressive for a phone. I mean, some computers aren't even 3 gigahertz. And you should also expect it to come with 3 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, moving on software-wise, you expect it to run Andro um, the newest version of Android, just released at Google I.O. It's going to be called Android L. The name wasn't really set yet. Some saying Lollipop or Lime something, right? But the name isn't set. It's called Android L or Android 5.0. And it's going to feature, like, you know, new design, new icons, new gestures, new features, totally new look. And, you know, from the looks of it, uh, the leaks and rumors, it looks pretty nice. So you should definitely expect that to be running on the next Nexus, Nexus 6. Uh, camera wise, you should expect it to have a 13 megapixel rear camera with 4K recording capabilities. And 4K is the highest resolution of recording. It's like absolutely amazing. You can't see any pixelation, can't see no like blurriness or whatever. It's nice and crisp. And you should also expect to have a 5 megapixel front facing camera. Lastly, it's most likely to come with a 3100 million power battery, if not more. Uh, since all of the like bigger devices that are 5.5 inches are give or take around 3,000 milliamp hours. Overall, there hasn't been too many rumors and leaks about the Nexus 6, just a few here and there. So if any more does come out, definitely posting another video to let you guys know. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.